hosted the last four years mm -hmm. we were in Nairobi here next to you. Okay. And it was hosted there. Mm. And I want to believe, by the way, mm. Uganda is likely to host. The next. The major reason why they are likely to host is this. Mm -hmm. The second biggest Anglican population in the world, certainly. Uganda is a generally a peaceful country, part of Africa. But most important, in terms of the direction of the Gulf Coast, they take a center stage. Archbishop Orombi, mm -hmm. he was the key person in the founding. Mm -hmm. Now Archbishop Untagari is a key pillar. Actually, when Does he hold the if, position? if you move Uganda out of the government, mm. it can it could collapse. Mm. In humanly speaking. Why? Because of the input of the leadership. Because Uganda is known for its promotion of the faith. Mm. And apparently, by the way, the speaker Rebecca Kadaga, uh, in international forum politician mm. she's known to have stood firmly mm. for because in this international fora uh, they were trying to put on the agenda issues of homosexuality put them up high there was an interparliamentary international conference mm. and speaker kadaga came up very strongly and opposed that move and they put it away so even our politicians are known for being mm, outspoken, very, very against outspoken. Mm. if you read newspapers about two days ago there was an international uh, meeting of the labor organization and mm. Pius Vigirimana yes. was also, again these people wanted to introduce on the agenda mm. the issue of homosexuals as being an, uh, not respected by the labor laws. In an international conference, mm. they always try to mm, put it in, mm. but Pius Vigirimana stood with the Uganda delegation you can see Uganda is always mm, leading. Mm. So that's why I say Uganda at some point may host because okay. it is believed to be one of the strongest countries with great faith, having martyrs who died for the sake of their religion. And even now, currently, it is Uganda which is uh, greatly involved in not allowing the promotion of liberalism and secularism, which takes away the Bible and leaves us with the faith which has no power. Bishop,